Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Paul has brought us in another game. I don't we know. have no idea what it is. Brought in a hundred papers. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of We got the glasses, we're ready to go. Let's play whatever this is. What did you bring us today? Okay, so if you've been on Netflix lately, you've seen Howie Mandel is hosting another game show. Is he? Yeah. And it's called... B Bull... Shite. Okay? Right. Okay. Bull shite. So, the premise of this game is, you have one person up on uh, the podium and three people facing off. And he has to answer a multiple choice question. Now, whether he gets it right or wrong, he doesn't tell the three people. He just tries to BS his way to convince them that he did tell them the right answer. Okay. Okay. All right. So they play this on cruise ships sometimes. Okay. Well, what we're going to do you is have an advantage. We're, we're going to see if Don, the master of BS, can BS you. Okay. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to have a multiple choice question. Once he chooses his answer, He's going to look to see if he was right. And he's not going to tell you if he was right or wrong because he's going to BS you that he's right. Okay. Okay. If you call his BS, you get a point. All right. If he successfully BSs you, he gets two points. If he got the right answer but doesn't successfully BS you, he gets one point. All right. We'll see if he can get past 10 points. Okay. Cool? Sure. Let's give this a whirl. <laughs> How do I get points? By answering. Yeah. Did, by... did Don BS you? Like, did you call him on it? Or if you say, you know what? I think that was the right answer and you're telling me the truth. Okay. Do you get a point? Uh, and well, what are these questions? Are they uh, random? Movie questions. Okay. All right. Which two movies started from the same script? A. Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. B. Goonies and Indiana Jones. C. E.T. and Poltergeist. D. Jurassic Park and Land Before Time. So okay. what did you say is the right answer? I said it's uh, Indiana Jones and Goonies. And it was simple because I remember the director at the time was trying to write a story for his child. And when he turned it into the studios, they liked the adventure. They liked the going after, like, the, the series of the kids. But they said it would be cool if it was a single star doing it for adults. And that's where they started developing the script at the time for Indiana Jones. Yes. The real answer? E.T. and Poltergeist. See, he, he heard so this question you, before. So you knew the I answer. knew the question. Okay, so you get a point. For knowing the answer before yeah. the question was asked. So <laughs> E.T. and Poltergeist. <laughs> Makes it hard for me to bullshit him when he already knows the answer. That's kind of the problem with this. I can't help that I know things. What's the odds of you knowing the one thing that was asked? <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going to keep track here? What? Okay. Which movie has the line, I wish I knew how to quit you? Is it Love Actually? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? Brokeback Mountain? The Notebook? Very simple. It's Brokeback Mountain. It's the most famous line from there. Everybody makes fun of it all the time. I wish I could quit you. It's Brokeback Mountain. B.S. It's true. Is it? It is. I don't... I didn't know it either. I did, immediately. I'll, be... <laughs> I'll bet you did. It's the, it's the line they make fun of in every season. I've never heard, I've never heard that line before. It's the only line that come, comes from that movie. I wish I could quit you. Okay, so Don it, gets two it, points. It's in the trailer, by yeah. the way. Did Don B.S. you? Did Don... Everybody out there knew that answer. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, next. Who did the cat in The Godfather belong to? 
Francis Ford Coppola, Diane Keaton, Al Pacino, It Was a Stray. The director, Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, there was a big stink on set because Diane Keaton was allergic to cats, but Coppola insisted that he had his cat there. I think it was a stray. So you're saying was it? Yeah. It was a stray. Yeah! <laughs> Is that two points for me? One no, point. One point. That should be two. <laughs> <laughs> That was good reasoning, though. Uh, I tried. I tried to throw in some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Charlize Theron and Will Smith both acted in Hancock. In which other film did they both act in? Bang the Drum Slowly, The Place Beyond the Pines, The Man Who Fell to Earth, The Legend of Beggar Vance. It was The Legend of Beggar Vance. And Charlize Theron at the time was not a big star, neither was Will Smith. And it's about a golfer. That's all I remember. I'm going to say true, because while I don't remember her in the movie, it's the only movie that I remember him from. Me too, by the way. <laughs> Name the Harrison Ford movie. Internal Affairs? Bridge of Spies, The Presidio, Firewall. Need some dramatic music here or something. <laughs> Not the folding of papers? <laughs> All right. It was The Presidio. It uh, was the first one that I've ever seen him in with another great actor, Sean Connery. Uh, one was a superior military officer and one was a newcomer coming on. They have to solve a case on uh, a, marine, uh, a naval station. I believe that. You would be incorrect. <gasps> it was internal affairs, wasn't it? And Don no. doesn't get a point either. I got it right. You showed me the right answer, but you told him the Presidio. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid rules. <laughs> so whatever you show me is what you have to tell him. It's easier to fool him with other movies, so. Who is the literary character most adapted to film? Tarzan, Frankenstein, Elizabeth Bennet, Sherlock Holmes. Well, it has to be Sherlock Holmes. I mean, the other ones that you had the choice of, you, did, you haven't even heard of Susan Bennet. So Sherlock Holmes, it's been done in movies. It's been a television series called Holmes. They have elementary on, it's gotta be Sherlock Holmes. Yes. I this time I get two points. Yeah. <laughs> it was a toss up for me between Frankenstein and Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> what was I too convincing with my with my yeah. response? Yeah. <laughs> Which Hitchcock movie is about a wheelchair bound man who may or may not be witnessing a murder? Rear window, north by northwest. Vertigo, Sleepless. It was Sleepless. And the reason behind it was because he hadn't been able to sleep. So he had insomnia for days and days and days, which caused hallucinations, which is why he may or may not have witnessed a murder. I'll believe that. Because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Two points for Don. Really? Uh, no, one point for Don. Oh yeah, you didn't get the right answer. Okay, so what was the right answer? Rear window. Oh yeah? Okay. I, I mean, that would make a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it would make sense. I, my, my logic was sound. Well, because I was thinking the same I thing. Know. I was like, okay, I could see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you have six points. Yep. You're only four away from ten, which was the million dollars. Which movie is said to have started the modern blockbuster era? Jaws? Star Wars? 2001 A Space Odyssey, Lord of the Rings. A lot of people think it's Lord of the Rings. A lot of people think it's Star Wars. But it's Jaws. I agree. <laughs> because he convinced you? No, no he knew the answer. Because I know the answer. <laughs> so I'm guessing one each? Yeah. Where is the Temple of Doom? China? South America? India? 
Indonesia. Well, it's, it's India. It has to be India because they had monkey brains and they don't have monkey brains in India, in uh, Indonesia. So it's, it's India. I disagree. Two points. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a really stupid reasoning. But <laughs> he was but right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said that to confuse him. It's, it's called bull. So I was bullying him. My logic was to confuse him <laughs> and make it sound like I was telling the untruth. See, well, I was, and my, my reasoning was, okay, but it was a delicacy. And if it's a delicacy, it's because it's rare and hard to get. Hmm. Well, maybe it was back then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you get two points, you get the million. If I get one point, I get the million. That's ten points. Oh, if you get two points, you still get the million. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, as long as I get a point, I'm okay. Who is the first enemy that attacks Ultraman in the first season of the Netflix series? Kaiju, Uta, Shinjiro, Bemular. So I chose... Disagree. You're not even going to let <laughs> No, what are you going to say? I chose Bellamar. Bemular. Bemular, because Uta is too short. It's a Japanese show. They don't make short names, right? And Kaiju is the name of all giant creatures. So they're not going to call the main creature because Ultraman is all about fighting big creatures. So I chose Bellamar or whatever. Disagree. Two points. Uh, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Million dollars, baby! That's a coincidence. <laughs> My logic was sound. Because <laughs> that's how I chose that name. So he got 11 points. Yeah. Wow. Whenever we do this again. Technically 13. Had I not known that rule. <laughs> what, did you have to get it right? Oh, when he told you the wrong answer mm -hmm. by on purpose. Yeah. So 11. will you be able to be 11 when it's your turn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You think you're a better BSer than Don? I know it. Okay. BS. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. Two points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, this reminds me of my old job at JDS when I used to do master training for people. And just, you don't know what to do. You're just telling them. No, we used to, to as a icebreaker, you used to have it say, do the... Two truths and Two a lie. Two truths and a lie. Hmm. And I would fool everybody every single time. Because I'm really good at lying. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it's a great... <laughs> so ladies, you can trust me. 